God bless everybody today. It is May 4th of 2022. I was looking at the astrological calendars. We've got a blood moon coming up in uh, this month of May of 2022. So I've been using this seasky.org astronomy calendar because I think it's really a nice layout and how they put things together. But if you just go to that site and click on 22, it'll bring up this page and you can go down and it gives all the different astrological events and, you know, you can go out and sort of see what's coming up. Um, and that's important because he tells us to look for the signs and the seasons and the blood moons and all the different things that we should be looking at. But I thought this was an extremely interesting thing. I wanted to bring this to your attention. So we're having this blood moon. If you come down through here, we're having this blood moon event coming up on May 16th. Okay, so that one's going to be in the middle of the month. And that's the first blood moon of the year. Okay, and then each consistent month after that for three months, we're going to have a full moon super moon. And then... We're going to have another blood moon event in November, and I want to show you why I think that matters. So we have this blood moon event on May 16th this month. And then as you get down in the calendar, on June 14th, we have a, a full moon super moon. And then you go into July. On July 13th, we have a full moon super moon again. That's the second one. And then if you get get to August 12th, we have an additional full moon super moon. So God likes threes. Um, it's interesting that we have a blood moon warning, three super moons, and then I think it's real. And then we walk into the fall equinox. I talk about September being a really bad month. I won't get into that, but I think it's going to be a pivotal PowerPoint in time. And there's going to be a lot going on in September. And then you have the election cycle, okay? And what I think is really important about that is when you get to November the 8th, we have another blood moon. Well, what is November 8th? That is the day of the U.S. election. I just think it's interesting that the blood moon falls on the U.S. election. Now, does that mean anything? I don't know. It's just, I want to point these things out. It's things that you should be aware of. Anytime he puts a blood moon in the spring and then puts another one in the fall, puts three full super moons in the middle of it, I think there's a potential warning there. And I've been talking about September uh, being a bad month and potentially the destruction of Iran uh, coming up as the Kurds are being drove down there as Daniel 8 uh, stipulates. Um, through, and Turkey will be the one that does that. But this one, I basically just wanted to show you that I think it's really interesting on this November 8, 2022 date, we have a blood moon event. And that, I believe, matters. So if we go back to this blood moon, it gives you where it's going to be, um, what areas it's going to go over. This one's going to actually go over eastern Russia, Japan, Australia, the Pacific Ocean, and parts of western and central North America, which, guess what, is the United States. And that then puts us back to the election. So is something potentially ominous going to happen on the 8th? I don't know. Um, you know, the Democrats could actually hold this election up. Joe Biden could say that he doesn't want to give up the office and try to hold the term down. If we have a cataclysmic event in September that leads into November, right before the election cycle, that could create chaos. Um, we could have an overturning of Roe versus Wade. Uh, now, in the near future, which would be a potential rioting throughout the United States um, as the left 
determined that they want to have the ability to kill babies and um, uphold that law um, as the um, Christians are fighting back to try to save um, basically innocent life. Um, so is something coming on the 8th? I don't know. It's extremely important that we watch the seasons and the signs and the times, and I believe we're in an extremely vulnerable time in this country. Um, but I think it's extremely important that November 8th is a blood moon. Three super moons prior to that, we have a blood moon in spring, so that's a, we're seeing a potential cycle uh, moving there, and so I, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Everybody, you need to get your oil in your lamp. You need to prepare the people around you. You need to let people know things are coming. You need to do what's necessary to keep your, you know, if things get really bad, you want to keep your family warm. You know, get warm clothes. You need to put food in your home. You need to have a way to purify water and keep water in the house because you need about a gallon to gallon and a half of water a day per person um, just for drinking, let alone anything for hygiene or otherwise. You need to think about medicines. You need to think about any type of production of energy that you can possibly think about. Even if it's a small production unit that can charge things or do things um, to allow you to have um, communication with the outside world or different things like that, the grid goes down or whatever. Um, I don't know these things are going to happen, but these are what he tells you to put oil in your lamp. So you need to get yourselves ready. Um, some medicines and things like that are not able to be stored. But these may be hard to find as things start to break down more and more. And so you need to start getting everybody ready. And um, the most important thing, get right with God. Get the skeletons out of the closet. Talk to him before you are judged and find the door, the only door, and that's Jesus. And the best oil that you can put in your lamp is faith. The faith that this is biblical, that God is in control, and there's a good ending to this. And so, God bless everybody. Have a great night.